Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. 16 year old batteries and we are replacing them with lithium. Very exciting. Not today, but you know, there's the batteries. We're still waiting on one to arrive. And he's just trying to get his head around this situation. It's a lot. All right, well today uh, we are pulling out, I'm not, but <laughs> Brian, we've got Brian, lovely Brian is helping today. Is um, right. the boys are going to pull out our old batteries. So we are swapping from AGM batteries to lithium. So it's super exciting. We are taking the batteries out and we're going to be able to start putting, we're still waiting on one battery to arrive. We've got three of our lithium batteries and we're waiting for one that's coming tomorrow. So there'll be preparations done today for the battery's arrival. I've right. got, got the pressure on it. If you just sort of wiggle it forward. Good, just don't let it drop on you. Oh, no, nice. oh, that's pretty heavy. That's yeah. so heavy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> got it. Okay. Right. Okay, on the lip. Could jump up and help that touch. Yeah. No, you're right. I'd oh, you got it? it for now. No, it's heavy, babe. Don't burst yourself. There's one. You got it. <laughs> one down. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of weight in those lead acid batteries. Yes, indeed. These bolted down? Or? Yeah, um, I'll jump back down. All right. To get to the batteries underneath, Lee had to remove the trays. Is that right? Is it that. just four? Yeah, there's ah, uh, there's another two more, two more inside. Oh, right side, okay. And I, like I say, I haven't even traced. Yeah. To see what start and what's, I'm assuming the two in there would be the starts, and this is the house. But right, okay. Like I guess I don't. I haven't really run through where all the wires go. Right. And yeah, some are numbered, but I've seen stuff that doesn't align. The trays were removed and battery number three was prepped and ready to be removed as well. Here goes battery number four. Clear. Set it on the ledge here for a second. Okay. I'm Brian. Right. Yep. Good job, right. guys. Whew. That's the hard. That's the hardest bit, yeah. Well, we still have to transport them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So this is where the batteries go. Nice little hole for them. So you can call that the bilge, what do you call that? The bottom of the boat? Well, it sort of is a bilge. Still the bilge! Yeah. <laughs> Careful what you say, we get people upset about terminology. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try and get one line off here that runs to the panel. And we're going to keep one battery live. Uh, we're going to put the charger back onto one battery and hopefully get some power to our panel and that will keep lights on the boat and a few basic things like the flushing toilet. the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I asked Lee when he was, was going to unhook the power, I said what's it going to affect and he's like oh just the lights. <laughs> but then we found out I no. forgot about the toilet. <laughs> there was more. <laughs> hey, what about the fridge? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah so yeah. that's all going to come from the panel. That's though. the freezers off. The other fridge will stay on. So is there much in the freezer in this one? Yeah. Okay. But it's cold in there. It should be fine. How long is it going to be off? Oh, it shouldn't be too long. So yeah, shouldn't so much ice. Right, so this is where the other two batteries are. They've got to be removed. It's well. well. Let me tape it off and we can pull it through. Okay. We've got a terminal back on here and we'll use this battery here that come out. This will give us power up to our main board and that'll allow us to have lights, flush the toilet and I'll move the uh, charging unit off here and that will remain on but just charge the one battery which is pretty much dead so it'll pretty much be the battery charger running a couple of lights and our freezer. And then what about the water pump? That's so in the water pump, yeah, whatever's on our switch, or it's only light loads, just to uh, get us through until we get the install done. So beautiful. 
be quite some time, a few, fair few days getting it all tidied up, so we we'll definitely need power in between, and that'll do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're just gonna run head torches. <laughs> yeah, we could just run head torches. <laughs> oh, that would be really enjoyable. <laughs> all right. Okay, so what we've done, we've kept this battery, one out of the six. Um, this is our old battery charger. It's a 40 amp master volt one, which isn't lithium compatible. Um, so it's going to stay with this battery for now, along with one line up to our main panel, which will keep our fridge and our lights going. So I'm just going to wire this up here. So we've got our charger and um, hook up to our panel and we should have power again. We're going to flush the toilet and turn the lights on and keep the fridge, uh, fridge cold. And run water. Oh, and run water. We don't have water. We've got no water at the moment until we've got a um, pump going. So I forgot about that. <laughs> that was a major thing to forget. Yeah. All right. What do you do? Just wire it okay, on up? Okay, so I need some more of those terminals. The afternoon was spent making sure we had power and Lee spent the rest of the night clearing space in the engine room for the installation of our Victron gear. This involved the removal and relocation of existing systems so we could utilise the entire wall. got a diesel heater here. As far as we know it works and I do not have time to play with it, but it's something that's plumbed throughout the whole boat. Um, I think it'll be an awesome system. So I'm just trying to organize all the wires. So even though it's not completely hooked up yet, uh, it'll make it easier when come time to put it together. So any wires we generally try and just keep them labelled until we know exactly where they're going and what's going on. A little bit of masking tape, write a note or black or red or number one, two, three, just helps because uh, you always forget at a later date which wire goes where. That's what I'm doing. And you just chop that pipe open? Well, I just want to move it over a bit. All it is is the floor waste from our cockpit. Looks like we've been uh, carrying a little bit of a blockage in there anyway, by the look of it. Yeah. So there's bits of pen and, and poop. dog hair. They did have a dog on the boat, so to me that looks like a lot of dog hair. Makes sense. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my god, that's oh. completely blocked. Look at that. Wow. There's a screw. What's that out of? I've seen one of them before. That could have even been me. <laughs> that looks like a window screw. Sorry, a port <laughs> screw. Oh my god, what else have we got here? Zipper ties. Definitely. Uh, oh, what's that moving? Don't imagine something ran away. <laughs> Jumped on your bait. Went straight for the light. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, looks like a lot of crap in there. Yeah, that's a dog here. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but... Camera died. What else did you find? Oh, look. Oh, oh an no. earplug. Really rusted out something. Earplug. Lots of stuff going on in there. 
<laughs> anyway, is that all of it? We might be able to let some water come out there now. Yeah, there was a lot of dog hair. I can see it. This looks like a big hairy hole. Okay. So we're just trying to move it over to give it a little bit more space on this beautiful clean wall. Clean slate we've got here for our Vic drum gear. Yeah, why not? That hot pipe's broken. It's not looking good. Yeah, it's an old pipe, but actually I could even have a little bit of that. Um, oh, I don't know if I want to use it though. It's good wet exhaust marine hose, but <laughs> it's only a cockpit drain. Do I want to use that? I have that as backup. That is pretty sad, isn't it? It's only the top part too, hey? Oh, that? that wasn't on there very well. I don't know if water in it. No, it wasn't really on there. I'm <laughs> going to replace that because that's dodgy. Oh, I can even slide that over just a whisker. I wouldn't say a clean canvas, but that's our canvas we've got to work with. It will be cleaned up soon, but this... Well, it's hard to tell from the picture, but... What have we got, guys? We've got about... I can tell you in inches because my Australian tape measure, or my metric tape measure, went overboard. So, we've roughly got about 47 inches in height. Oh, look, we'll cut that in half there, because it's only half years of wall worth. Probably about 50 inches wide. So that's where we intend to put all of our Victron gear. Our battery bank is pretty much just over here, only a foot away. So it's going to be a nice short run. And we haven't even designed it yet. And we've got 18 days to go. 18 days to get this all on, test run our boat and get to Mexico. Hopefully we can do it. Leah's been up and at it this morning. What have you been up to? Well, I went to fit the batteries and like usual with Boatworks, nothing goes to plan. These Dakota Lithiums sit at the end of my trays beautifully. Well, they don't actually. The, the trays are a little bit out of whack, so I've had to sort of trim them with the die grinder. But that's not the problem. The problem is it's supported at both ends and the actual Dakotas are the same width of uh, the inside of the supports here. So I'm just going to put just make up a little tray, a little bit of ply, it's not marine ply, it's just uh, Home Depot. And I'm just going to get Bella to run a coat of epoxy over them in a minute. I'm going to whip up four more, or three more, pretty much like that. That's about it. It's, uh, I just don't want them to move around at all. The heights of the Dakotas are actually exactly the same as the 8Ds, they're just a little bit narrower. And so they were sitting right in line with this, so I just didn't want the battery supported at either end and not through the centre. If I had time and I could just zip it to a welder, I could just put a centre support in, but I don't. We've got to keep moving, we've got like... 13 days. 13 no, days. 14, sorry, two weeks 14 today. days. So two weeks today and we haven't got batteries in the boat. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm doing everything as quick as I can, but still as good as I can. So there's nothing wrong with that, I'm quite happy with that. It's a half inch plywood base. I've put in a couple of um, blocks down the side here to take out any play that way. Uh, I'll readjust these and put longer bolts in. It's pretty high up in the uh, floor area, so if they get wet we've got bigger problems to worry about than a bit of ply getting wet. But regardless, they'll be sealed. We get four of these bad boys in and we'll have 800 amp hours of batteries, uh, amp hours of battery in these trays. I'll stop flapping my gums and uh, I better get cracking. All I'm doing, I'm sliding two cards in there. Uh, reason for that is it just allows me enough gap so that when Bella puts a coat of epoxy over these, they're still gonna fit. Because if I just put that snug up against there, I push that up there without the cards, chances are when Bella puts a coat of epoxy on there, it's not really gonna wanna fit too well. So that's what I'm doing. Kidding. They're lithium. It's so light. <laughs> OK. 
keep these because we will intend to at some stage when the boat work stops. We might have a game of cards. Anyway, battery's going to fit inside of there. It's not going to fit in the tray though. I'm just going to take these sides off. Uh, the reason I've just assembled it like this because all the trays are different and they're all slightly different by 5mm. So each tray is custom. So they fit like most little things on boats. They're always a few mil out. They're never square, never straight. Anyway, take these off and we'll see if it fits. Alright, that should fit. Two down, two to go. They were the easy ones. The other two are mounted in the bilge. So I'm gonna take a few measurements and this is where Bella's gonna be doing the in and out for me and passing it up if I need to do any trimming. But hopefully those two in the bilge are nice and square and all goes to plan. Okay, we got a parcel this afternoon and it's for Bella. A special package for Bella. Is it from someone? It's from Angus. Oh. It's a mermaid tail. <laughs> oh, it even comes with that. That's so cool. Thank you, Angus. <laughs> he must have saw that video when I posted of when I was little. He did. He saw your TikTok and he wanted to surprise you. That's, That's super sweet. Thanks, Angus. <laughs>